Okay, continuing on, uh, we're going to um, go to the second page of this document. So open the Pages palette and navigate to page two of this document and it's set up as two columns. Activate the Type tool, draw a text box so it fills column one. Make it nice and neat. Got the flashing cursor, so go File, Place, navigate to that text file that came with this assignment. Click Open and it'll fill, of course. And then it overflows, the text overflows indicated by the, the red box with a plus sign on it at the bottom. So activate the uh, black arrow, the selection tool, and click once on that uh, box with a plus sign on it. You can hover anywhere over the column two and click and the text box will automatically fill, uh, will span the column. Um, adjust the new text box that was just made by uh, and, and get it to fill column two. So there's two text boxes connected together and each are filling uh, the column. One thing you should get in the habit of doing, especially if you get stuff off the internet, is doing uh, spell checks and proofreading. So enable the type tool, click anywhere in the, uh, you know, in the text, do a, a control or command A, control A for PC, command A for Mac to select everything. Then go to edit, spelling, check spelling. And it works just like a Word document, but you have to be discerning, okay, and not just trust you know the, the dictionary because sometimes it's not right okay for example CSS is a part of uh, you know web design and that's that's a legitimate uh, thing so we don't want to change it to any of this weird stuff that they're suggesting so just click skip uh, likewise semi bold um, is an okay word okay so we'll skip that ah but look at this, this weird little thing. Um, now a lot of, when you bring in text from the internet especially, you're gonna get a lot of really weird little things like this. So it's suggesting um, point, so you know, select point and click change. And then here's another typo, larger point should be, you know, not interpolate, not hyphenate it, but just larger point, so select that and click Change. Um, Gothic, they suggest it should be uh, capitalized, and I agree with that. So let's uh, change, I don't know what, this is funny, Thicko. I don't, InDesign thinks Gothic should be Thicko. I, I have absolutely no idea what that means. But anyway, choose Gothic and click uh, Change. Uh, okay, now Bodoni, that, that's, that's a real word, that's the uh, typeface you know so skip that one future is as good skip see like so what I'm the reason why I'm doing this is a learning thing because the dictionary is not always correct you know Garamond is a correct word um, what's what's most they want it capitalized and I don't know why that doesn't make any sense at all um, so skip that and then we're done now within here you have to like also just you can't like you know um, think InDesign catches everything. You have to proofread stuff. For example, down here um, close to the if you did everything exactly like I did it, like towards the end of column one, five hundred. There's a there's a lowercase o in there instead of a zero. So change that. Um, and there might be some other stuff in here that we got to look for. I can't see anything right off hand. Um, so it's looking pretty good. So, um, okay, so anyway, but you should proofread, you know, uh, not don't just take it on faith that everything in here is correct. All right, so with that, I think I'll end the uh, save your file and when we come back, we'll do the paragraph styles.